What is up? This is your LA in a Minute here in the historic Fairfax District at Television City, which is celebrating its 70th anniversary as one of the most important and prolific production studios in the world. I want to tell you some of the highlights about Television City as well as the history. So let's get into it. So originally the land was Rancho La Brea and La Brea Tar Pits until it fell into the hands of Earl Gilmore, who struck oil and struck it rich. From that money, he built Gilmore Field and Gilmore Stadium, which housed the LA Bulldogs and the Hollywood Stars football and baseball teams, as well as building an oval track for racing, which drew 5 million fans over the 16 years that the stadiums were located here. TV was in its nascent stages in the 1940s with most production in New York. CBS saw the writing on the wall, the growing population on the West Coast, and knew that a signal couldn't be transmitted west of Omaha, so they wanted land out on the West Coast, so they bought this land and hired the state-of-the-art firm Pereira and Luckman to build it. So Television City was built during the Cold War, and as such, they had to make it safe, safe enough to provide shelter and fort for up to 20,000 people. The floors are made of triple concrete, and the walls are strong enough to withstand the shock wind of an atomic blast from as close as 1,500 feet away. Wow. So talk about state of the art. Even though glass walls are commonplace now, there's 12,000 square feet of glass walls here, which at the time was one of the largest installations in the world. And furthermore, they had this black white color scheme. It wasn't just for aesthetics. Black areas were designed to be expanded upon, which they have, and the white walls were permanent. So one of the main concepts for Television City was to have everything under one roof. So this room, the set production shop, was pretty revolutionary. I mean, they build the sets right on site here and then wheel them out to the various studios that need them. I mean, a ton of shows are still filmed here. For instance, The Late Late Show. Can't forget about Price is Right. And yes, this is the actual wheel that they spin. What on there, baby? The Bold and the Beautiful, which is on air right now. As well as Young and the Restless. Also, Dancing with the Stars, which is here at Stage 46, which is just like a beautiful complex, almost like an amphitheater. It's amazing. Real Time with Bill Maher, which is filmed in the famous Studio 33, which is also where they film Price is Right. But more importantly, historically, Carol Burnett's show, Red Skelton, and Sonny and Cher were all filmed right here. And guess what else? Elvis Presley had a concert right here in Studio 33. Wow. At 70 years old, Television City is now owned by Hackman Capital Partners, who have their eye on the future towards the next 70 years. It's going to be exciting to see what they have in store. All right, LA, it's been a minute.